Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a pyramid histogram using SPSS. Um, I'll be using the GSS date of 2012. If you Google that a little bit, you might be able to find it yourself and follow along. Alright, grass chart builder. And if you set your measurement levels correctly, this should be okay. I just did another video, so there's already something here. So. I'm going to reset that so it's all empty and it looks the same probably as you have it. Now we want a histogram and in this case a population pyramid. So I'll drag that one up there. The split variable is the variable that has two categories to split the data into. I'm going to be using the gender of the first respondent for that. So that's going to go in there and I like to compare their ages so a little bit further up again so many variables here to quickly overlook but there it is age and that goes in there click on OK and in my output I should now get a nice population pyramid it's using frequencies you can actually change that to percentages double click on the chart to get the chart editor there should be the properties window um, because of the screen capturing video it's not really showing what I wanted to show but as soon as I click on something it does um, the variables the percent change that to y-axis and hit apply and then it should be here now in percentages also if you want to change the number of categories uh, SPSS uses a default binning uh, structure it does that by running some analysis um, but you can also just do it yourself go for binning and then custom and let's say I want to use 10 categories and make this to 10 apply and now it actually has 10 categories okay uh, you can close the chart editor, you don't have to save it, it automatically then saves it in the output. That was it.